Hello YouTube, this is 2A Enthusiast with, uh, I don't want to call it a review, maybe an informational video for you. Um, a few months back I started seeing these uh, surplus Beretta 92S's uh, in various, um, various websites across the internet and I was intrigued because I collect guns and I co collect Berettas. So, and I also wanted a, um, a 92FS but uh, I hadn't gotten one yet so when I saw the opportunity to get this for about $290, I jumped at it. Um, this gun, I would say I fired about maybe six, 700 rounds through it. Haven't had any problems whatsoever. Works perfectly. Uh, really, the only thing wrong with it would be would be some, uh, some holster wear. These, uh, from what I understand, were from the Italian police and uh, made in the late 70s. So they were actually used quite a bit. Uh, I really don't care. I think it adds character to the gun itself, to be honest with you. It gives it character. And um, I think if you're the kind of person who would complain about a $290 Beretta 92, you're probably the kind of person who likes to shoot it into a range so you don't get your hair messed up. So this video is not for you anyway. But um, like I said, I think it's a pretty nice looking gun. Functions really, really well. The only thing on it I don't like and you have to deal with it because it is a European gun meant for the European market was the magazine release. Um, being an American I'm used to kind of hitting the magazine release button here. This one is actually all the way down here. It's a little awkward. That's a bad thing. Uh, the good thing is that it does take uh, certain Beretta magazines and notice how I say certain not all. Um, the 92 FS magazines uh, because they have the magazine release uh, near the trigger guard, um, have a little hole right over here. This one has a little hole right over here. And this little hole basically is what uh, clicks in and releases with the magazine push. So when you buy magazines for the 92S, you are going to have to make sure that it has a little cutout over here. If you're handy with a Dremel, you can do it yourself, but if it were me, I'd probably rather just look around. Uh, I know Midway USA has had them and a few other stores here and there that I've noticed. Uh, the other good thing is because it's a 92, you can look around for some um, magazines that can make liberals cry. This is a 30 round magazine meant for the 92 FS. Just like to point out though that for the 92 FS, it has the hole here for the trigger guard uh, mag release button, but then it also has, um, actually it's right here, but then it also has the cutout for the 92S for the, uh, the heel release button that's on the European versions. So uh, I've used this one. Not that much. I think I maybe uh, fired maybe 100 or so rounds out of it. And the 100 or so rounds I fired, it was very good. I don't consider 100 rounds too much for tests, but in my short use of it, I can't complain. Uh, I believe it was about 25 to $30. Don't hold me to that. But basically, nice gun. And if you happen to see any more in the used market and you want a Beretta, I think it's a very good deal. Um... You probably won't see too many in the stores because I've noticed they seem to have dried up a lot. When I bought mine, I purchased it from Classic Firearms, and uh, it was actually one of the last ones. I was lucky I got in just in time because I spent too much time thinking about it. But uh, like I said, it's a good gun. Definitely consider it. Have a good day.